This is a story entitled, Time Gets Better With Age. I want you to listen because as we read it, it gets better as you go. Kind of like time. When I started out, I learned that I like my teacher because she cries when we sing Silent Night. And then comes age five. At age five, I've learned that our dog doesn't want to eat my broccoli either. At age seven, I've learned that when I wave to people in the country, they stop what they're doing and they wave back. At age nine, I've learned that just when I get my room the way I like it, mom makes me clean it up again. At age 12, I've learned that if you want to cheer yourself up, you should try cheering someone else up. At age 14, I've learned that although it's hard to admit it, I'm secretly glad my parents are strict with me. At age 15, I've learned that silent company is often more healing than words of advice. At age 24, I've learned that brushing my child's hair is one of life's great pleasures. At age 26, I've learned that wherever I go, the world's worst drivers have followed me there. At age 29, I've learned that if someone says something unkind about me, I must live so that no one will believe it. At age 30, I've learned that there are people who love you dearly, but they just don't know how to show it. At age 42, I've learned that you can make someone's day by simply sending them a little note or a little email. At age 44, I've learned that the greater a person's sense of guilt, the greater his or her need to cast blame on others. At age 46, I've learned that children and grandparents are natural allies. At age 47, I've learned that no matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. At age 48, I've learned that singing Amazing Grace can lift my spirits for hours. At age 49, I've learned that Motel mattresses are better on the side away from the telephone. At age 50, I've learned that you can tell a lot about a man by the way he handles these three things. A rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree lights. At age 51, I've learned that keeping a vegetable garden is worth a medicine cabinet full of pills. At age 52, I've learned that regardless of your relationship with your parents, you miss them terribly after they die. At age 53, I've learned that making a living is not the same thing as making a life. At age 58, I've learned that if you want to do something positive for your children, work to improve your marriage. At age 61, I've learned that life sometimes gives you a second chance. At age 62, I've learned that you shouldn't go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands. You need to be able to throw something back. At age 64, I've learned that if you pursue happiness, it will elude you. But if you focus on your family, the needs of others, your work, meeting new people, and doing the very best you can, happiness will find you. And at age 65, well, I've learned that whenever I decide something with kindness, I usually make the right decision. And then I turn 66, and I've learned that everyone, everyone can use a prayer. And at age 72, why well, I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. And at age 82, I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love that human touch, holding hands, a warm hug, or just a friendly pat on the back. And finally, at age 90, I've learned that I still have a lot to learn.